Good evening, sir. I'm T.A. Anuragni. I'm a final year law student. The, I believe that terrorism could be stopped by, uh, at least could be reduced, when people are taught about tolerance. Does Islam preach about tolerance? And if, if it does, do people who are in charge of imparting Islam, I mean, uh, I believe uh, there are a lot of, uh, I don't know the exact term, terminology, there are uh, gurus like in Hinduism who teach Islam to the other uh, um, Muslims. So in that case, do they, do they impart, uh, preach tolerism? The sister asked a good question, and she rightly says that terrorism can be curbed by teaching tolerance, and does Islam teach tolerism? Do the religious leaders of Islam, do they teach tolerism? Sister, I said in my talk, which I said a bit fast, I didn't pay emphasis on it, one of the criteria for any human being to go to Jannah, to go to heaven, to go to paradise, is tolerance. Allah says in the Quran in Surah Al-Asr, chapter number 103, verse number 1 to 3, wal asr by the token of time, man is verily in a state of loss, except those who have faith, those who have righteous deeds, those who exhort people to truth, that is to dawah, and those who exhort people to patience and perseverance. Tolerance is one of the criteria to go to Jannah. If you are not tolerant, according to Surah Al-Asr, you shall not go to Jannah. Not only should you be tolerant, you should even exhort people towards tolerance, but tolerance, by definition, it has got various meanings. And if you ask experts, that tolerance also has a limit. What do you mean by tolerance? Fine, someone does something wrong to you. You do not retaliate. It's good. Till how long? So tolerance also has a limit. And in Islam, Zalim is a person who does Zulm, means you could say that a person who causes harm. There are two types of zulm. One is a person who does harm to the others, and another person who does harm to himself. The two types of zalim, and both are referred as zalim. One who does zulm on others, another type who does zulm on himself. Our beloved Prophet Muhammad Sallam said, it's mentioned in Hadith of Sai Muslim. If you see anything which is wrong going on, if you can, you should stop it with your hand. If you cannot stop it with your hand, stop it with your mouth, with your tongue. If you cannot stop it with the tongue, at least curse in your heart that the act is wrong. And if you do that, you are the lowest level of believer, the lowest level. So what we have to do, that we have to be tolerant, teach tolerance, as Allah says in the Quran, in Surah Baqarah, chapter 2, 153, Inna Allah ma sabreen, that verily, Allah is with those who do sabr. But while doing sabr, we should see to it that does not go beyond limit. Sabr also has a limitation. Tolerance has a limitation. So before it goes over limit, if you see that a woman is being raped, you can't tell the woman, tolerate it, no problem. If God has given me strength, if I see a man raping a woman, I should stop it with my hand. If I cannot do it, man, it is tell Arab Aisa, please don't rape. In Bombay, an article, a young girl, 13 years girl, she was raped by a man, and there were five passengers. Only one person objected, and he was kept quiet. Five people could over that man who was drunkard, who was drunk, and they did not do anything. What's happened to the humanity? What has happened to humanity? Five young people cannot take care of one drunkard, raping a girl in a train. Will you call this tolerance? I would call it cowardice. Therefore, I say that if these five people were terrorists, terrorists in the sense, terrorizing the antisocial element, that person would have the guts to do it. So what sister, we have to encourage and see to it that tolerance level of every human being is increased. At the same time, they should not become cowards. They should see to it that the antisocial element in the society, they are reduced. And we should collectively gather together and see to it that these people who are antisocial people, they are brought to task. Hope that answers the question.